Hammer curl versus bicep curl. What's the difference? Don't you want to look good naked? So the main difference between a hammer curl and a bicep curl is just the position of your grip. So with a hammer curl, it's gonna be that neutral grip and it's gonna bias your elbow flexor, which is your brachialis. And the bicep curl is going to be where your palms are facing up in that supinated position. So you can think of that traditional bicep curl and that's gonna bias more of your bicep brachy. So with hammer curls versus bicep curls, there's tons of different variations you can do, whether that's dumbbell hammer curls or cable hammer curls where you have that neutral grip or bicep curls where you have that supinated grip. So if you're doing dumbbell bicep curls or my favorite would be chest supported bicep curls, you really wanna focus on the same things when you're performing those movements. The only thing that's really changing is that grip angle. So whether you're in that neutral grip or you're in that supinated grip. So a few things to make sure you're focusing on is that you're only flexing at the elbow and you're keeping your entire upper body kind of locked in place. So you're tensing kind of at your upper back a little bit to make sure that that is not moving. You're not swinging your shoulder all over the place. You're not using a ton of momentum and other muscles are starting to come into it. So you wanna make sure that it's really just that elbow that's flexing. And again, the grip position is, that's the only thing that's changing. Everything else stays the same between the movements. It's just that grip position. So one is not necessarily better than the other. I would just make sure that you're varying it throughout your training. So incorporating some movements where you've got that supinated grip, some movements where you've got that neutral grip, and then also making sure that you're varying that shoulder angle position. So doing those movements as well with an extended shoulder and a flex shoulder. That's going to be important to get the most out of it. So you can also think about supersetting these in your training. So you can do a superset of a neutral bicep curl and also a supinated bicep curl. Uh, for example, doing chest supported dumbbell spider curls can be that supinated position. And then you could do a cable neutral grip hammer curl and you're getting that hammer curl position. So those are the main differences between a hammer curl and a traditional bicep curl. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the different mistakes that a lot of people are making when it comes to bicep training in general, check out that video I made on the six mistakes that people are making when training their biceps.